Are you someone who does content creation? Whether it is something that you do out of your hobby or passion project or something that you're looking to monetize, well, the festive season is the peak season for that. And I am here to tell you today about how you are going to make the most out of your Instagram or YouTube channel in terms of collaborations. So I'm someone who has been collaborating with brands for the last four years now and I've worked with over 200 brands in spite of having a small Instagram profile of less than 10,000 followers. So if you are someone who is a micro influencer or nano influencer and you're looking how to reach out to brands, if you're someone who works alone and doesn't really have a team with them, then this video is definitely for you. If you are someone who is new to the field of content creation or blogging, then let me just tell you that this is one of the most upcoming fields now in the age of digital media. Got my Instagram and my YouTube here. I've been collaborating with a lot of brands every year for both festive campaign as well as throughout the year for normal campaigns. So if you are someone who is interested in learning about how to make collaborations work, then obviously this place is for you. Now, when it comes to collaborations, we know that collaboration basically means something that is going to benefit both parties. So in this case, it is going to benefit both you as well as the brand. So how to work with brands just like you see all the celebrities and the big influencers doing. So the way forward is just to know that there are many ways in which you can collaborate based on the innate and unique skill sets that you have. If you are good in dancing, if you are good in singing, if you are good in writing, if you are good in photography, then these are just some of the ways in which you can just earn some money and boost your confidence as well by working with brands and putting your work out there for the world to see. Also nowadays in this world of UGC, user generated content is something that we see a lot of brands focusing on. So if you are good at photography, if you love to take aesthetic shots, micro shots, macro shots and you know interesting angles of photography, then this is something you can definitely consider. Now when we talk about collaborations, we need to know the two terms that is barter or paid collaboration. In barter collaboration, a brand sends you a product in return of the content that you will be giving. So it is product for content and that is the barter system. Barter collaboration is the easiest to get and it is probably the first collaboration that bloggers start with. So in barter collaboration, you might get, be getting one or two products or even multiple products from a brand in exchange of content in the form of Instagram stories, reels, posts, or maybe, you know, um, other swipe up links, videos, and so much more. So what you can do is you can just take up barter collaborations from renowned brands in the initial phases when you're starting because you can build a portfolio of work because when you work with the big brands they are going to ask you about what brands have you worked with before and then you can just add those collaborations. Now the next part is paid collaboration. So in paid collaboration the brand offers you payment in exchange of your content so you might have a particular rate that you charge for your reel, your post or your story. So based on that, you can collaborate. Now the rates often vary and a lot of different, uh, you know, brands and agencies and countries will give you various rates. So I would suggest that, you know, just talk to a fellow, few fellow bloggers. If you have some friends in the content creation space, just ask what rates they are asking and put your rate somewhat close to what the market rate is like. If you are someone who does not really have so much content creator friends, then just charge a rate that you think will be appropriate for the work you're putting in. So you can charge based on the hours of work you're putting in, the quality of work you're doing. Suppose if you're shooting with a professional camera or if you're shooting with your iPhone or Android phone, so you can charge accordingly. If the content involves a lot of work, so if you have multiple dress changes, if you have, you know, you have to use a product multiple times or if you have to shoot an elaborate video so you can charge more if it's a very short term work if you feel it's very easy work then you can definitely charge less based on your requirement now the brands will negotiate with you when it comes to the rates so i would suggest if you are getting offered a rate that is convenient for you as well as it fits the brand's budget then you should agree to that initially because once you build a portfolio of work then it gets easier for you to charge higher rates based on the quality of your work. If you are someone who adds a unique type of content, for example, your voiceovers are really funny, or if you have experience in content writing, or if you are a very good dancer. So if you can incorporate those elements into your content and you can definitely charge extra for that. So these are some of the ways in which you can collaborate with brands. So now coming to how to get the collaborations. 
So Instagram, as you know, has a messaging service as well. So nowadays you can directly message the brands. You can send them a DM. It's as simple as that. In the DM, you can mention the type of brands that you work with, the type of niche that you are in, as well as previous projects if you have any. So just mention to them that this is the thing that your portfolio work in details. And if they want to know further work, if they are looking for particular type of content, you can share those content links or images or videos with them directly. So the brand might often talk to you over a call or they might send you an email or they might have a team that is going to talk to you about a particular campaign. Especially in long term campaigns that spread over weeks or months, they will definitely tell you what the deliverables are and they will be involving you in an elaborate process. Often brands might give you scripts also. You can definitely work with the scripts as a guideline and you can add your own creativity and content style to it definitely. Also, it's very important that your audience is engaged. A brand is looking for an audience that is engaged and real. So you should not have followers that are fake. You should have followers that are in your niche. So suppose I am in the fashion, beauty and lifestyle niche. So for me, most of my content is for women, girls of maybe the young to middle aged age group. So I focus on this kind of content and this is my ideal audience as well. So I would definitely want to have more female followers so that I can collaborate with brands on a much better note and my content will get engagement because my followers are genuinely interested in this kind of content. So it is very essential when you are planning to go for collaboration to know what your demographics look like, what your insights are looking like so that when brand is going to ask you for these details, you can just share them with the brand. Now, coming to collaborations, one very important point to remember is that you should have the details ready as to what your terms and conditions are, because otherwise it might create a lot of chaos and a bit of bitter relations between you and the brand. So just ensure that you know beforehand what are the things that you're comfortable doing, what are the things that you're not comfortable doing, and just mention it to them. For example, if they're looking for a voiceover in a language that you don't speak or are not comfortable in, then you can mention it to them directly. Similarly, if they are looking for a dancing video and you are not a dancer or you can't really dance, so you can just mention it to them. It will just help you to have these facts sorted out beforehand so that last minute reshoots and you know cancellation of the brand deals can be prevented. Now, if you're working with a team, then it's very good if you have a social media manager who can manage all these initial discovery calls for you, who can get all these brands for you in the form of DMing them or directly emailing the brand. So the process for you becomes a bit easier and you can focus more on the creative part of the job. But if you are someone who is managing it alone or if you are a blogger or a creator who has in maybe less than 20,000 followers or 30,000 followers, then definitely you can manage your own page till your page is growing so much that you're getting overwhelmed by the amount and quantity of work that you're getting. So I hope these tips were helpful. I wish these were something that I knew when I started my content creation way back in 2020. But now that you know, I've been working in this field for over four years, these are some of the most important tips that I've realized. Now, what to do about the type of content and how to create content that is actually going to get eyeballs. So for that, I would say just have your unique creative approach. If there's something that you like to do, if you want to add some childhood story, if you want to add some personal angle, you can definitely consider adding that. If there's something that you're interested in, for example, you have a lot of greenery around you, so you can con consider shooting outdoors. If you are someone who likes to take aesthetic macro shots, you can consider adding that to your content. So it's up to you what type of content you want to create and what you want to be known for. So I hope these tips have helped you in getting your first collaboration and will help you in getting many further collaborations down the line and all the best for your blogging and content creation journey. If you are a creator like me, then do drop a message in the comments so that I get to know that you know you are someone in the same space and tell me about your collaboration stories also in the comments. Let's see how we can connect and share your tips too so that others can benefit. Till next time, do like, share and subscribe.